yeah, I wanted to do a quick little review on her, but I felt like, well, I'm probably late to the party on this one, but I don't know. I don't see many uh, videos out there yet. Plus, I was going to compare her, and maybe I'll do that in a different video, to some other similar size, you know, fashion figures. And even take some of my older strawberry shortcakes from the 80s and 70s, put their heads on some of these modern um, Japanese ball-jointed dolls and Chinese ball-jointed dolls from AliExpress and see if I can make up something that's almost exactly the same because this reminds me a lot of them, except there's two different types of ball-jointed dolls. They're the ones with the elastic in them. She's not that. And there's the ones that aren't. Now, I didn't open this because I don't comb hair. I don't find that to be comforting. Custard is my favorite. I love custard. He's so cute. I, of course, I like cats, obviously. She also comes with some little stickers. I wonder if they're scratch and sniff. That'd be awesome. She also came with a little cake. A strawberry shortcake. And she came with a little lunchbox. I was trying to put the cake in there and I couldn't get it to fit. It's like, how is she supposed to... The cats are fighting around me. How is she supposed to put that in her lunchbox? Well, here's her lunchbox. It looks just like the original one. I had never had the original one, of course, but I mean, I went to take my lunch to school, you know, back then and get beat up over it. She's adorable. Um, she looks similar, but not exactly like the originals. Now, I was kind of disappointed. Look at the sleeve on mine. I, I was like, really? You're, it's $12.99, so it's not like it's a... It's one of these really expensive ones that you see on uh, online. But I figured they'd do a little bit better job cutting out this, you know, white part of this dress. Um, they're very ath or ac articulated. I think somebody said they had a swimsuit. I haven't taken her clothes off or anything, but I think she has a swimsuit on underneath, which is great because I think that's a crucial thing for, you know, little kids, uh, dolls. You don't want a bunch of kids running around naked. That's just not good. Um... She's got articulation a lot like the Obitsu bodies from Japan. The arms, the hands, um, they have a joint, an extra joint here. It also reminds me of uh, Rebel Tech, where the hands are on their own. Like this thing right here, it's got a male going up that way and a male peg going that way. So it gives it some really crazy articulation, a little bit too much in my personal opinion. I like wrist articulation, but this is a whole new ball game right here she's she's got a sword hand so she can lift up with a sword but if you want to swivel that and make it to where she has if you have to rearrange it a little bit then she has the back and forth hand so she can do paint the fence or sand the floor but yeah she does have great articulation um the the elbow joints they don't seem to go back all the way like 90 degrees in my opinion i don't know what it is her knees are on the double joint, though, so what she lacks in elbows, she makes up in the knees. And she does, if you uh, take her, her uh, why is it every time I get on a video, it starts whining? Every time um, I saw a video of somebody doing this, it is a really ugly joint there. So if you take her pantyhose off, it's a very ugly joint. It's not a normal kneecap joint. I've only seen a few people do knees perfectly. One of those was a um, something like a 12-inch G.I. Joe com like competitor, I guess. They did the knees absolutely perfectly. You, you when you bend the knees, they didn't go flat like this. They were double jointed. Please, Tom, Tom, be quiet. Um, but they actually stuck out like a real kneecap does. So you know nobody else is going to do that. It seems like. All right, there she is, right there. If you want to get a close up of her pretty little face, and uh, oh yeah, her feet are also on articulation, like very squeaky. <laughs> And she has ankle rockers, so you can... I think she's probably got the same joint in her wrist as her leg. I'm not going to take her clothes off. I just find that too even. Even with a swimsuit, I'm just like, nah, not unless I need to change her clothes. Which I usually don't. I, I just usually leave them like this. I don't think any of my strawberry shortcakes ever change their clothes. I don't know that they make extra clothes you can buy for them, but I've just never done that. <laughs> they have the same clothes for all their life. Well, anyway, if you haven't gotten one yet... um. I bought mine at Walmart. It was a big debacle. They kept on delaying it and delaying it. And then finally had to, they were sold out. And I'm like, the dang scalpers beat me to it. I don't know how, because I was hovering over it waiting. Um, so you finally had to pre-order it. And it finally came to my door. And it came crushed because, well, they put it in an envelope. Like, like really, that, that you can't put a box. You box up everything else and you put this in an envelope. So my box came all crushed and stuff. Thankfully, the doll's not crushed. That's what's most important. 
and Custard. Custard the cat. I love Custard the cat. He's so cute. I still have the Custard the cat from the original. And of course, I've got my original strawberry shortcakes. All right. Well, y'all have a very nice day.